Okay, I've just come to do the uh, the bottom keyboard, remove the old bits of wire from the bottom keyboard. I've actually noticed uh, something quite useful, and that is that uh, there are two switches per key. Um, that's why there are two wires, the orange and the grey, coming out, and also two common buses. So when you press the key down, um, the, uh, the orange wire connects to uh, the lower bus, uh, and the grey wire connects to the upper one. Anyway, what's of interest is that the orange wires all have uh, diodes on the end of them uh, between the wire and the key. And that's really useful um, because that's what we need to, uh, to have um, for it to work with our own encoder. Uh, something we'll be coming on to shortly, um, but it does save us a little bit of work that all these diodes are already here. Uh, I don't know how well you can see them, but uh, if I remove the wires from this switch. Okay, so hopefully you can see this one's a little bit longer um, and there's, there's this little tiny pink um, device soldered to the switch on this side only uh, and that's a diode uh, and there's one on every switch so that's, that's jolly useful um, and we'll come back to that later on.